In this video, I will show you how you can download and install Project Libre for free and get started with your first project. So let's get into the web and let's search for the software. So just type projectlibre.com and you're going to find it. Just type here in any search engine and skip the ads and that's it. So Project Libre, number one alternative to Microsoft Project open source. So if I click here, I can go directly to the website and you can check all the information here. Now this is our community. You can also join them. You can uh, support them in many ways. And also it's um, this one here, it's coming up. It's called cloud and it's kind of um, the Microsoft project in your browser. So it's kind of uh, a sharing platform where you can collaborate with other people using the web and not just your local machine, which is the one that we're gonna do it right now. So it's coming up, so we'll probably make more videos about this one and also the Project Libre Cloud. So if you scroll down, you can check the features and also, uh, let's say, supporters and the community around the world and so on. But to get to the download, you need to go to products here and go directly to Project Libre Open Source. Click here and there it is. This is the download link. You just have to click here and wait for a few minutes and the software will be downloaded in your download folder and I will show you right away how to find it. Now there is also some information here that you can use to start to work with this. It looks uh, identical to uh, Microsoft Projects. So if you already use Microsoft Project, you will not have any problems. You can see here you have Gantt charts, you can you have different charts and reports and so on. Okay, now uh, before we move on, in our channel you can also find other alternatives. For example, if you type project management guide, you will find other videos about managing your project with other tools like, for example, this Gantt project or IGNT, which is a web app already online and on the cloud that you can start to use with your uh, collaborators without waiting for uh, the Project Libre Cloud. And let's start it. So let's get started. In the download here, you will find the software. So you double click here and just move on with the wizard. So just install everything here, click install, and there you go. You're finished. And usually you should find a yeah, exit setup because I already installed it. And at the end of the installation, you should find a desktop icon that you can click and open up the, the software from here. So let me show you basically how it works. So if I, this is the interface now, and it, it's in Italian because it's automatically detected the language of my system and changed everything for me. But if I want to change again the language, I can go right here at the top right and I can select another language, for example, English. And now I need to restart everything. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to close it and reopen it. And this is just a really simple example of what we can do. So I don't want to save this, just double click again, reopen the application, and now we are in English. So it's going to also give you tips here, which could be helpful. Let's close this, and this is the part where we have to choose if we want to open a project or create a new one. And let's say I want to create a new one, and I want to call it New Project, and Manager Me. And that's it. The start date will be fine if I want to add on some other notes and say OK and open up everything like that. Now, this is not going to be a complete video course on this software, but if you support us, we can make more videos. If you show us your support by uh, writing comments, subscribing, joining, especially joining because this is going to give us some gas, some, uh, let's say, um, will to continue and make more videos, more video guides, more video courses. So if you join us or you can support us with the store or in the about page with these links here, 
These links will also give you a reward or a little bonus so you can both join, uh, sorry, both support us and also get rewarded as well. And you can check the, the English video courses here in the playlist at the top or right all the way to the bottom, you will find English video guides. Okay, let's get started and let's start by doing something really simple just to get you going, just to get you started. And then again, probably in the future, we will make more videos. If you support us, we will make definitely more videos. So show us your support. Okay, now uh, the first thing we can do here is we can save, we can open, we can print and we can check our projects. Right now I have only one project which is the one that I have just created but I can continue to create new projects so I can call this second project so I can manage more than one uh, contemporary. So you can see here now I have two. So the first tab here well it's all based on these four tabs so you have file where you can create new ones and print and so on you have tasks and this is where you get more in detail on your project so for example if I go to the Gantt chart here I can start to create some actions some tasks so for example let's say this is the initial uh, task and I can say okay this is gonna last for example seven days and I can also click here and, and change the date of the start and the finish and well let's move to the next task so this is the next task and this is gonna appear right here at the bottom and I can click now here I can enlarge this I can move it I can place it anywhere and depending on where you click it's gonna do something so if I click in the middle here I can create a relation so I'm telling now that this should happen before this one. So if I set Control Z and go back, and I want to do all the all the other way around. Now be careful where you click because it's gonna do something different. Now this way, in this time I will click on the border and drag my left mouse button, and then release it right here. And then it's gonna say, okay, first you need to do this, and then you're gonna do do that. And this is the base, the basic workflow used in the Gantt chart and using pro project planification, planning, and this is what you basically do, you just define, you just split your project into many tasks to understand what resources you need, uh, how much time do you need, how many days and so on. So the next step is resource, and we were basically talking about this. So here you can define what are your resources. So I can see here my first resource is Mr. X and now I can define what type of work he does, email address and how much do I pay him and so on. So you can create a team here of people, of resources that will help you in the project and then you can assign this to one project or the other and so on. You can work with resources and then you can work with views. So you can check again the gun chart you can, you can have different types of charts here, um, you know, displaying your project. Also, resources can be seen as a, a organic, uh, well, a hierarchy. But you will find all these terms if you search on the web. You will find all the terms, the meaning of these words. You can also have reports. You can have Instagram charts and so on and so far. So you have a lot of tools here. So there is a lot going on here if you want to use this really professional way. So again, so this will be it for this video. If you like it, if you enjoy it, please support us and we're gonna make more. So show us your support, tell us that you like it, that you want to see more and we will schedule more videos for this software. If you don't like it, if you like other uh, similar software, check it in our uh, YouTube channel and we will proceed with that other one. So you are in control. So thanks again for watching. Again, join and support us. See you in the next video.